Um, nobody is safe. In the last seven days, seven Mopars have been stolen in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, this is just my city. Not even talking about your city, your state. Just in my city, seven Mopars have been stolen. Chargers, Challengers, uh, two Jeeps. One was a Trackhawk, one was an SRT, and a Durango Hellcat. Stolen. Um, it's going to be a bad summer for Mopars, man. Somebody in my comments uh, said you either need to garage them or sell them. You know what I mean? Like if you can't protect your car somehow or another, you need to sell it. That's how bad things have gotten. Like if you don't want to put some sort of legitimate security on your car, you just need to go ahead and sell it if you're not going to garage it. Either garage it, secure it, or sell it because somebody else is going to steal it. That's how bad it is. Let's just get into it. What's up, guys? It's your boy Knockout360 here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a car that makes this a car blog. You didn't know what's going down when I come around. Let's get into it. I've got car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around because you're in the right place for everyone else. Hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So when I said seven Mopars have been stolen in the last seven days in my city alone, Charlotte, North Carolina, which is a very nice city, very respectable city, certain areas, of course, I'm not kidding. Um, people have been DMing me for the last probably month, maybe month and a half, every other day, every day, every week, be on the lookout for my car, be on the lookout for this car. This car was stolen. Somebody's track hawk was stolen from the damn Charlotte Douglas airport in the employee parking lot. That's how bad these, these animals want our cars. Let me say that again. Somebody's damn track hawk was stolen at the charlotte mecklenburg um uh not charlotte mecklenburg charlotte douglas airport employee parking like the dude works there and he had his car in employee parking and they stole it they stole his track hawk from the damn airport um one of my guys hit me and uh even him he had his car garaged right and uh that's a lie it wasn't garage it was uh in a parking garage but it was uh, a parking garage where you actually had to have a security code or something like that to get in. And he said somehow or another, when he went to work that day, he left his uh, Charger Scat Pack, Charger Scat Pack in the parking garage, um, downtown Charlotte, I believe it was. And somehow or another, like his, his garage is set up in such a way that, like I said, you have to have a code to get in. Or you have to immediately follow someone that puts their code in and slide in behind them. And he thinks that's what happened. Like they slid in behind his car or they slid in behind somebody else's car, got access to the parking garage and stole his shit, essentially. In a situation like that, they have to be watching you. It's just not it's not an accident or haphazard that somebody just happens to see a Charger scat pack in a parking garage that's, you know, got a security gate and and security and all that stuff and you got to have a security code to get in they're watching you a lot of these cars that were stolen these were not accidents like it just didn't happen it just didn't happen where people were just outside and it's like you know i feel like stealing something today let's go look and see if we can find a scat pack or a hellcat or a track hog. nine times out of ten these people are watching you right like a lot of you guys that dm me the way that you explain how your car was stolen, it sounds as if someone did some reconnaissance on you and you just you just wasn't paying attention. Right. And you didn't have any sort of external security to stop them or to alert the alert, alert you that your car was being broken into. At least, you know, I know I sound like a broken record, but I mean, like this is just my city alone. All seven of these cars, and there's even more that I can add to the list if I really go down my my DMs of people that want me to repost and tag and let people know that their car is stolen. It's really more than that. But in the last seven days, probably the last week, week and a half, all seven of these Mopars have been stolen. We're looking at Hellcats, looking at Scat Packs, Durango, uh, Hellcats, Trackhawks, all that stuff. Now, one thing that uh, somebody in my chat mentioned, when you're getting your car detailed, a lot of detailers like to show their work off and that's perfectly fine. A lot of detailers like to show their work off and, um, you know, take a video or a picture or something like that. Make sure that you QC that video before it goes live, because what somebody in my chat mentioned, and this makes a lot of sense is not that the detailers have anything to do with it, but they could kind of unknowingly 
put you in a bad situation. And I say that to say, if somebody comes to your house and they wash your car and they want to show their work off and they do like a 360 video, you don't know who's watching that video to get some sort of information on where you live. All it takes is them for them to get a street address, a, 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 you know, some sort of landmark or something like that where they can say, oh shit, that's the movie theaters in the background. So he must live in this neighborhood. Let's go check that neighborhood out, drive around for a little bit until we see it. Or uh, he lives on, I don't know, Queen City Boulevard. Okay, uh, Queen City Boulevard Street. So let's go check that out and see. Just be careful when it comes to these cars. Like you just never know who's watching what, right? Between watching you drive in and out of your neighborhood, in and out of your complex, in and out of your house every single day, or the stuff that you put on social media, or the stuff that people around you put on social media, you know? Like it just so happened that two of the cars that got stolen in this list happen to have been detailed by the same person um, relatively in the same location in Charlotte. Like both of them were downtown. They were both in parking garages and they both got detailed by the same person. Not that I'm saying the detail had anything to do with it, but what I'm saying is based on the pictures and the videos that the detailer was taking of the cars after they were finished washed or after the detail was done, it could have been given clues. And it's one of those things like, okay, so we just stole a Hellcat in that parking garage. And now uh, somebody just posted their track hawk getting, you know, clean from head to toe or from inside outside. And this looks like the same parking garage. Let's go hit it again and see if that track hawk is there. You just never know what people are watching. Like you think that you're doing somebody a service by letting them film your car or letting them, you know, video your car or whatever the case may be, or take a picture of it for the gram so that they can get their numbers up. You don't know who's watching what for what purposes or what motivations and intentions, you know? Um, so just be weary of that because people are watching you. People are watching without a doubt. They're watching you drive these cars. They're watching what you post. They're watching where you post. They're watching who you associate with and all that stuff. You know, they're watching people that's watching you. You know, because a lot of these cars aren't just stolen accidentally. Like none of these cars, to my understanding, were just stolen at a McDonald's parking lot or a cookout parking lot or a mall parking lot. That happens for sure. You know what I'm saying? If you drive your damn Hellcat or a scat pack to a mall parking lot and you're you parking in broad, you know, wide open, you know, parking lot or whatever the case may be, that can happen. That's true. But a lot of these cars were stolen directly from their neighborhoods. Now, one thing that a lot of these cars have in common when that at the time that they were stole, they were either stolen from a parking garage like downtown or a parking deck of some sort, or they were stolen from from an apartment complex where you can't garage it, right? And like I said, somebody in the comments said either garage it, secure it, or sell it. So if garaging your car is not an option, you got to secure the shit, right? Now I know you guys probably knew that I was going to reach for that and put it in a video. What I will say about car lock is it's better than nothing. A lot of you guys in the comments have told me that, you know, you've had issues with it or maybe it's delayed or, you know, it's not a true deterrent. It's not a true deterrent. You know, if somebody yanks shit out of your car and they're quick enough to get in the system and, and start your shit up and you're and you don't, you know, get the notifications fast enough, they could re realistically be gone with your shit. Right. But it's better than nothing. It's a first line defense or first line deterrent for you as a car owner. It's one of those things like everybody always has their phone next to them somehow or another. When you're sitting on the damn toilet, you're watching TV, you know, hell, you're in the movie theaters, you're, you're out and about, whatever. You always have your phone on you. So you should always be within range to get a notification or something like that. If somebody's trying to break into your shit, right? That's the whole purpose. If somebody's trying your shit, it's not going to stop them by any means. If somebody wants to break your damn window, they're going to do it. If, they, if somebody wants to, I don't know, try to yank your wheels off your car, they're going to do it. But the least that you can do is at least be notified that it's happening. Now, you want to take things to another level with another level of security. That's where your CompuStar comes in. That's where your Viper systems come in. Viper is an old security system that's been around since probably the early 2000s, late 90s. Motherfuckers have been using Viper since, I mean, people was driving uh, uh, goddamn Ford Mustang 5.0s with the, the, you know, the, the retractable roofs back in the day. You know what I'm saying? The old school 5.0s that people had on, uh, if you ever seen that movie, Don't Be a Menace, or uh, is it Don't Be a Menace? Menace to Society with the 5.0 that had the gold Dayton's on the side or whatever. Like people have been had, they've had Viper security on their car since then. It's tried, true, and it's legit. I've got hella shops in Charlotte, North Carolina that install these securities. Now you guys, 
I tell you guys a lot about my car, but there's a lot you don't know that I've never told you and I'm never going to tell you as far as security is concerned. And that's obviously just for my safety. But start with car lock. Start with something simple, you know, 49 bucks discount, whatever the case may be. Set aside 50 bucks. Start with car lock. Use my code knockout 360. Get a discount even on that. Even on that 50. It won't even be a flat 50. Start with car lock. If you think car lock is enough as far as car security is concerned, stop there. You're good. If car lock is not enough, that's when you want to have your car professionally secure. Take your car to uh, like in Charlotte. We've got this place called Auto Toys. Shout out to uh, Tunes Car Stereo, which is in Concord. Andrew. He's a solid dude. Go and talk to him. That's Tunes Car Stereo. And his name is Andrew. Tell him Knockout 360 sent you. Uh, like I said, there's a lot on my car that I don't talk about and I'm not going to talk about. But trust me when I say my car is secured. Tunes Car Stereo uh, in Concord, North Carolina. Auto Toys, they do car security. Like I said, start small, start cheap. If you want to go that route, start with the car lock. If you look at your environment and your situation and you say, my car is going to get broken into. Like you just know it for a fact. Maybe you live in that neighborhood. Maybe you surround yourself with that kind of people and you just know for a fact, it's not the if, it's the when. That's when you want to upgrade and get yourself a legitimate car security system. You know, a CompuStar or a Viper, something like that. But take it to another level because at the end of the day, I mean, everybody wants to get pipes. Everybody wants to get decals. Everybody wants to get tent. I dig all that. I understand all that. I got all that shit on my car. But what's the purpose of having that shit if you wake up one morning and your car isn't even there? There's priorities. If you want to own these cars, the sad part about it is you kind of have to prioritize certain things. The first thing that you should prioritize is your car security. If you can't garage it and you ain't going to sell it, you need to secure it. And that's where CompuStar comes in. CompuStar has got the T12, T13 systems right now. That's the hottest things on the street. Uh, Viper, I don't know about Viper, but I know that Viper is legitimate. I just don't know any specific, uh, systems that they offer, but you got to secure it first. You got to lock your shit down first, then worry about the other stuff. Because if you don't worry about what's first, first, or take care of business first, you won't have a car to, to cut the pipes off, cut the pipes off of, you know what I'm saying? In the video that I just showed you there, like that was a Hellcat that was stolen, and as you can see, he's running from the police and he fucked that car all up. You know what I'm saying? So bad. So by the time the owner gets his car back, it's going to be fucked up. It's probably wrecked. Truth be told, you know, and it's one of those things like if you had just taken five hundred to a thousand dollars and secured it, put some sort of security on it. You wouldn't have had to worry about that. Worse come to worse when it comes to security systems. Worse come to worse, you may leave with a broken window. And if you own a Charger, Challenger, a Mopar of some sort, you shouldn't have anything in your car to begin with, especially if your car is parked outside. Don't leave anything in your damn car overnight, like period. I lock my, uh, I don't park my car outside overnight, but I lock my glove compartment every single time I park my car. Even when I go to the gym, to my, to my job, I always lock the glove compartment. You know, it's just a habit at this point. So never leave anything inside your car. But worst come to worst, you might leave with a broken window because obviously nobody can stop somebody from breaking a window. But the CompuStar T12 and the T13 systems have window detection. So even if they break it, the alarm goes off and they scatter. Right. Motherfuckers don't want to get shot. That's one thing that's true. That's a truism. Like people want to steal cars but they don't want to get shot or shot at in the process of doing that, you know? And I'm just saying that to say, once somebody breaks your window and a notification goes off or the car alarm goes off, they're not just going to stand there and keep doing what they do. If the alarm is going off, they're running. So it's one of those things like worse come to worse, you got away with the broken window. I don't know how much windows cost on our cars because I've never had one broken. But that's the worst case scenario is that you walk away with a broken window, which is better than your car being stolen. And now you got to replace that whole goddamn thing. So, like, guys, I'm telling you, man, and I know I sound like a broken record, but I mean, apparently my city is getting hotter as the weather is getting hotter. It's getting hotter for owning these cars because literally in the last week, seven Mopars have been stolen. I'm getting flooded with DMs every other day. Hey, can you repost? Can you repost? My car got stolen. My homeboy's car got stolen. They stole the shit from the airport. I'm tired of it, man. Before you guys go cutting the pipes, decals, all that other stuff, secure your shit. Start with car lock. Like I said, if you don't want to go and drop $1,000 on a CompuStar or a Viper system, I get it. 
I get it. You know what I'm saying? That's money that a lot of people could put other places. I get that. Start with car lock, 50 bucks. You know what I'm saying? 50 bucks, you get notifications everywhere. It's a all, it's a 24 seven GPS. That's car lock right now. Literally right now, as I'm talking, sending me a notification, but one o'clock. Um, even if it's a, all the 24 seven GPS, you can tell your battery percentage. I don't know why that would be important to you, but it does. It's a, a log keeper, so it keeps the log of where your car has been. So if you let somebody drive your shit, you can always see where it was and where it wasn't. And it's a security device, you know, which is what it's built for is security. So if you don't want to go drop 500 to 1,000 on a CompuStar or a Viper system, I understand that. I understand that for real, I do. But you need something because literally having these cars with no sort of security is like, being out here just naked with no clothes, nothing to protect yourself. You're just out here naked. That's literally how you're 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 moving right now. You're moving stupid. You're moving wild and reckless and you're moving naked because you got nothing. You guys know I push car lock heavy, but like I've told you, car lock is not perfect. And so for you guys that have the money and have the ability, you can have car lock as well, but put something on top of it. CompuStar Viper, some sort of redundant security that's actually going to kill the engine and stop them from taking your car. Carlock's not going to do that. Carlock will let you know, but it's not going to stop them. That's where CompuStar and Viper come into place or some, some, or this, or some sort of other security. But it's getting hot, guys. This is going to be a crazy summer, good or bad. Just protect your shit. Secure your shit. Seriously, because I'm getting tired of seeing this happen. And it's happening in my city, and I know it's happening in yours. So let's do something about it. It's Boy Knockout. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.